We've been doing some work on the Airstream here. Body seems to be in really great shape. I think there's only one dent and a couple of uh, tears in the aluminum. We're gonna have TIG welded back together. The uh, latches need to be, or the doors need to be aligned a little bit. Uh, they don't quite open and close as smoothly as I would like. I've contacted Airstream about this trailer and they unfortunately were not able to get me any information at all based on its VIN or on the original Airstream model number. Having some fun testing different chemicals for stripping it. I'm gonna try and get it back down to that original glory. There's our big dent. I think we can push it out from the inside fairly easily. But not too bad. It's a 454 TBI with a turbo 400 transmission behind it. Uh, unknown running condition when I purchased it. We had to tow it here. Short three mile tow. Um, had a bunch of wiring issues and stuff. So we've been working away on that and kind of cleaning it up. Coming inside the trailer. You can see it was an executive uh, transport shuttle bus layout, I believe is what they call it. Um, basically just lots and lots of seats. Lots and lots of ashtrays because, uh, I mean, it's the 80s, right? <laughs> Got fold-up uh, fold uh, dining tables there. The engine bay, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Uh, the roof of it has this massive air duct that goes all the way back to a supplemental heating and cooling system that gets Freon and uh, engine coolant from the engine. So you have to run the engine, of course, to get those features, but they should be pretty powerful just based on the sizes of the systems. Um, and it's kind of cool that it comes through the roof. Uh, up here we have uh, just basically accent lighting, um, spots for the drapes, and little fans. None of that is in very good condition, and we have not even tried getting the cab electrical to work yet. Um, moving back further, we have a small galley. Um, there was a sink there at some point. Uh, there was a mini fridge there when I bought it. Got our system monitors, some kind of cubby hole access to the back. Um, and then we've got uh, the bathroom here, which is in remarkably clean condition. I, I'm very shocked. <laughs> These things are nightmares normally. But uh, yeah, they even plugged the uh, the hole there with uh, one of those temporary plugs that plumbers use. We're up now in the cockpit, probably the dirtiest and uh, least worked on part of the trailer so far. Uh, the dash has fallen to bits. Um, pretty much none of it works anyways. So a couple of the gauges turn on, shockingly. Um, we're dealing with all sorts of clipped wires and extra wires and looks like stuff they added on at some point. Um, <laughs> none of it is uh, labeled or seems to go anywhere. So <clears throat> we managed to find the ignition and key on and uh, we rigged up a temporary a little running situation here um, to just kind of test the motor out and get cab power. So uh, the radio does turn on and off. Um, you can see that, uh, you know, we are getting some kind of life in the dash a little bit. But it's going to be a work in progress. We might we might go electronic and just do like a Holly system. <clears throat> or we might try and restore some of the original uh, engine components. Um, the engine <clears throat> was actually not as bad as I thought. You know, with all this wiring and everything, we, we thought we would be having some trouble with it. But it seems like it's going to um, be a fair bit easier than we were anticipating. So I'm going to um, just open the throttle body here and uh, shoot in a little brake clean. And then uh, we'll give it a turn over here and you guys can see it turn and uh, even hold idle. Uh, give her a little more juice. I don't think that was enough. So she, uh, she needs some work. It runs out of fuel, which is why it stops, but um, there's no weird tick noises or knocks or thumps, and it turns over nice and easily. So uh, we think this motor is going to be in good condition. Um, just doesn't have any fuel at the moment. Um, you can see the injectors right up here in the throttle body, 
and uh, neither of them are spraying so those are probably bad we've got some replacements um, and a rebuild kit for this carburetor uh, we're also gonna probably drop the fuel tank completely flush it out um, put in a new fuel pump an external one it's got one on the rail already um, unknown condition of that uh, it could be literally just that we're not getting power back there <laughs> for pretty obvious reasons so uh, we just got to get back there and start probing around and see see what everything's like there but I'm likely gonna gonna refurb the fuel system it's been sitting for like 12 years so could uh, use the attention